This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading equestrian education source. Hi, welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. My name is Peggy Thompson, and today we are going to learn how to braid a tail. You're going to pretty much want to use the same utensils um, as the mane. Um, I'm going to need my yarn. I'm going to need a pair of scissors. Um, for the most part, if you have a tail brush, a lot of times uh, we use regular hair brushes as people brushes. And um, especially, you know, when you're braiding the tail and you're getting some of the knots out, you want to be careful, you know, with the with the, the grooming and you hang on to the hair just while you're getting the knots out because you don't want to pull any of the hair out at all. And uh, so you're going to have your comb, a hairbrush, scissors. You're going to need your hook, your ladder, bucket sponge. And again, like the mane, you're going to want the tail soaking wet. It's imperative the hair stay wet for the tail. Depending on the temperature of the night, especially doing tails, I try to be a little easy with the horses. If it's cold, you're going to want to have some warm water because it gets really cold, uh, you know, underneath to kind of have that little shock. It's like you having a cold shower that, you know, when you soak down their tail, um, it's a little bit cold if it's, you know, it's chilly outside. So. I like to use warm water if it's cold, but on a beautiful day, they're pretty much good with this. I'm gonna comb it. All that hair around the tailbone. And then most of the time I carry a spray bottle because braiding down that tailbone, the hair dries, seems to dry really fast. So that's a good start with wet. And I'm going to climb up on my ladder because I don't want to have my arms up above because I'll get tired. You're going to kind of want to be level with the tail. And just like the forelock, I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my left taking a section. Then I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to cross over. And I usually start with a piece of yarn. I just lay it on their butt and I go take, take my my left section and you want the same amount a section in the hair that's very important and I'm going to take my right piece I'm going to cross the hair I'm going to put the left over the right and I'm going to switch hands I'm going to take this piece of yarn and I'm just going to lay it over that hair and I'm going to also cross it And I'm going to go the right. And I'm going to ho hold on. You see this section of hair and you see this section of yarn. You're just going to hold it together like it's all one piece of hair. And I'm going to go left over right. And I'm going to take a piece of left hair and put it with the rest of the hair. Same amount of section of hair again that I'm going to add. And then I'm going to go right over left again. I'm going to add hair, same size section. I'm going to go right over left. Every once in a while, you're going to have the horse a little squirmy. He's going to lift his tail. He might move over. The best thing you can do is just try to flow with the animal. Sometimes it tickles, sometimes it feels good.
Every once in a while, if you have to stop and take a little break, because there's a lot of cramping with your hands, you can just kind of take a little breather and, you know, get a little grip with your hand, hang on to the hair. You still want a tight, tight hold of the hair. So we're pretty much down to the end of the tailbone and we're coming to the finishing point of the tailbone. As I said, you kind of want to get right to the end of the tailbone and we'll do the finishing there. So at the end, I still have the braid in my hand. I'm going to continue to make a braid going down with the excess hair. I'm just gonna make a braid out of it. And there's two ways we can finish. The first way, I'm gonna show you the wrap. And the second way, I'm gonna show you the pinwheel. So for the wrap, I'm just gonna braid this excess hair and I have to measure because I'm gonna actually make the coil this around the, ta the, the end of the tail. So I kind of have to see how much I have to go. I'm not meeting this end with this end, meaning I have to braid further down. So I'm going to take this back, keep braiding down. And I'm going to measure again. I'm going to wrap it around. Now this is going to meet with this, so I can actually tie this off. So I'm going to put my yarn in just like with the forelock and with the braided mane. At this time though, I'm gonna take two pieces of yarn. I'm gonna fold it in half, put it on the braid, like it's a piece of hair, on the right side in the middle. Gonna go over, and I'm gonna do my tie off with the piece of yarn. Same diff, go under, make that loop, see where my thumb is. I'm going to pull this. Then I'm going to take this excess coil and I'm going to coil it around the tail like so. And with this hair, I'm just going to kind of make a knot. I'm going to like pull it through, keep bringing this around. This is my personal favorite for tying off the horses because I just find if your horse has to stand in a braided tail at a horse show for eight to 10 hours, it's just gonna stay solid. Every once in a while, the pinwheels by the end of the day can go from side to side if the horse has a lot of tail swishing action or goes in a stall and rolls in between classes. Now that this is here and I have this snug, I have two pieces of yarn and I'm gonna put this piece to the left and I'm going to take this piece and just kind of bring it over to the right. I'm going to take my rug hook utensil and I'm going to go down the right side underneath the coil and just bring it down. And I'm going to hook my piece of, my right piece of yarn, bring this little tab down and I'm just going to pull it up. And I'm still going to keep this on the right side. So this piece on the left, I'm just going to do a double surgical knot and tie these two. Sometimes you're going to see you're going to have hair mixed in. So just try to pull the, the, the horse hairs away from the yarn because it's just the yarn you want to tie, not the horse's tail <laughs> with the yarn. So I'm going to do a double surgical knot and go one, two. And t over on the left hand side of the braid is where I'm going to tie this tail like so. 
and I'm going to just do the same. I'm going to keep this on the left and I'm going to keep this on the right. And I'm going to take my rug hook and I'm going to bring this right piece down on the right side and the left piece down on the left side. So this time I have to go up underneath the coil and hook the yarn. So I'm going up, hook, going to pull down. I'm going to keep this still on the right side. I'm going to do the same with the left side underneath the coil and I'm going to bring it down. Then I'm going to keep this on the left side. And now you still see this kind of piece of hair like here. So how I'm going to like blend that in with the rest. I'm going to like, again, do one more double surgical knot down at the bottom. One, two, and I'm going to go underneath and just do a really tight knot here. And then I'm going to do one more surgical knot. So you're going to do, do two double surgical knots to finish this off underneath. And that's your finished product. That's your coil. So we did the coil. We're now going to do the pinwheel if you choose to do the pinwheel. So with your excess piece of hair, we're going to take two sections, one in my right hand side, one in my left hand side. So I'm going to take a section with this right, right piece of yarn and the same amount of hair for the left section in my left hand. And as you can tell, there's the yarn on the left. So I'm going to split it in a half like this and I'm going to hold the hair like this. Your thumbs are going to be your guide and I'm going to roll. And every time I roll, I kind of kind of pull and I'm going to roll and kind of pull and I'm going to roll because you want this roll nice and snug. And I'm going to roll it until it's right in, right against the back of the braid. Take your rug hook and basically go through the section here over here. And I'm going to take this piece of left left heart yarn and again, you're going to want to try to get out the horse hair and just get the yarn in the hook. Put the tab down. We're going to pull it over here. I'm going to go the same over here to pull the right over to the left. So here comes the hook over. I'm going to take this yarn into the right section and I'm going to pull it over to the left. So while I'm holding the pinwheel, I want to pull this yarn to the right, this yarn to the left and make it snug. And I have to actually kind of bring it together and keep it snug like so. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to hold the yarn in two hands and do a double surgical knot. One, two down and then I'm going to go underneath here because as you see just if for a minute if I let go of the yarn I have this excess hair here and excess hair here and I'm going to want to do something. These are the little secrets of hiding the hair. I'm going to do a double surgical knot and go underneath the pinwheel and as you see that the hair is going to kind of sort of squish against the tail and then I'm going to go up again and do one more double surgical knot up top. And do one more double surgical knot. So then I'm going to trim the yarn, just kind of like it's tied. But I still kind of have this little bit of hair here, this little bit of hair here. It doesn't look so good. So I'm going to want to take my pull through, go underneath the section, go up in there, and I'm going to hook the hair in the pull through and pull it through that section. So that's one side. We're going to do the same on this side. This horse has a really thick tail, so I have to go a couple of times. I can't get all his hair in one swoop in the section.
And then basically what I want after when I'm done the tail, I want to do another security knot um, to kind of have that pinwheel secured against the horse's tail. So I'm going to take two pieces of yarn again, fold it in half. In the top of the snail, I'm going to go in between. I'm going to hook some yarn and I'm going to have it where I have two pieces on one side, two pieces on the other side. So I'm here like this and I'm going to pull one right to left, one left to right. So let's start with left to right. Here. And then I'm going to pull this piece, hook it, the right to left. So then you can kind of see here, I'm going to pull it a little bit. And do you see how that's kind of pulling the pinwheel towards the tail and just anchoring it a little more solid. So it's pretty, pretty, we're at a pretty solid place. I like this extra anchor because then it just feels a little more secure. It's a little bit more loose if you don't anchor it up like this. So I like to do this and then you do your double surgical knots. Two up top, two at the bottom, and then finish off with two on the top. And then at the top of the tail, just these two stripes here, I'm going to put um, a piece of yarn up here just to secure this because they're going to, there's going to be a lot of wear and tear during the day. It's going to loosen up. So the extra knot up here is going to hold these hairs in place after a few hours of the tail setting in. So I'm going to put my hook in. Again, lay the yarn, hook it in. Two surgical knots. One, two, one, one, two, two. And then finish off. And voila, that is the end result of your braided tail. At the end of the show day, when it's time to take your horse's tail out, just from any sewing store or craft store, you can purchase a seam ripper. Just have that as a tool to take your braids out. Wet the hair first. Make sure it's really wet so you don't have like ripples and wrinkles and curls. Um, and you're just going to seam rip the yarn to take the braid out and just be very, very careful that you don't catch the horse hair with the seam ripper. It's very easy to do. And thank you for joining equestriancoach.com. <laughs>